Hi folks, what I've done to this 18 by 24 inch primed canvas is just coat it in a very thin layer of silver oil paint, okay? So it may give a little bit of a metallic cast to it, okay? Just put a very thin layer of silver paint on there, metallic silver paint. Now I'm going to grab another brush and I'm going to dip into some, some greys that I've made. Now this is a, a grey from Burnt Umber. Burnt Umber and French Ultramarine just mixed. Now I want to leave a bit just about there, I think. Okay, we'll have a little bit of a bright spot popping out from the sky. Okay, just throw in some colours and you can take it to the brown side or the green side or have it, green side, the blue side, should I say. Okay, just have it just, just floating in there like that. And I just want it a little bit paler down at the horizon line. Very foggy day yesterday was a very foggy day so i thought we'll put some of that fog up onto the canvas and all being well we'll get it done in one shoot instead of just piddling about with editing and all that lot right get rid of that brush i'm going to go back to the brush that I had the silver on and just get really tough and push it about push it about i want a nice silvery cast to this so it could almost be like a, a seasonal christmas painting even though it's not christmas yet Okay, but a seasonal Christmassy kind of painting. I've done these kind of paintings before. They've been very popular in the past, so we'll do something virtually similar sort of technique. Okay, I don't like that big streak there. If I'm doing it all in one go, then I won't be able to step back and have a look as I go. So if it's a mess, we might not even get to see this yet. Okay, right, so that's the sky kind of blended out okay right put that brush down get the palette knife palette knife i'm going to mix up a little bit of yellow ochre and red and plenty of white just gives a nice little peachy color on the palette knife there and i'm just going to put a little bit something there like that okay that, that'll sneak out from the uh from the sky all right well that's setting I'm just going to leave it on there just to, to have a few minutes just to take to the canvas. I'm going to grab another brush. What's this idea? Like? Nothing. Okay, so uh, a, a mop brush. And I'm just going to get some of that grey colours that we've had. A bit more white. I've made several piles of it. Progressively getting lighter. Okay, like a colour stream. And we want to have like a, a little path down here with some lamps and stuff on. So all I'm going to do is just tap on with this and it gives the indication of lots of little trees and foliage sort of stuff way back in the distance. If you can see that without the canvas vibrating. OK, just throw that in. Willy nilly. I say willy nilly. Any old owl, any old owl. OK, like so. Don't. Don't worry about it, because the more you tap, the more you tap, the just, the, it'll just absorb into the silver that's underneath. Okay, get rid of the fly. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that one, get a cleaner one with nothing on. And I'm just going to tease, tease this, just blend, blend it into the silver there, like that. Just tease it up. We haven't forgot about this yet. We haven't forgot. Okay. We don't want detail. So I'll take off any harsh lumps. If we have detail. It will lose its effectiveness. We just want colour and shape. No detail. Colour and shape. It's fog. It's misty. It could be snowy. But we don't know. We're not too sure just yet. Okay. Back to this one. That's why it's good to have the palette down on the ground. On the desk, okay. Pick up a bit more colour, and we can throw in another layer of these. It's the same colour, okay. It's the same colour all throughout. We won't change the colour. We'll just have different values in it, okay. Different values. So some, if we put it on stronger, it'll look thicker and darker. Put on weaker, it'll look lighter, okay. So there, but you need a little bit of that misty gap between each area and then we'll come up that looks like a nice big tree from what i can see i can't i'm practically sideways on 
so I can't really see but there we go it's not been my problem before paint closed I've, I've even played paint can't even speak I've even painted blindfolded before haven't I so there we go and if you haven't seen that little shorts video and it took a minute to, to put up onto YouTube painting blindfolded just check it out just check it out it'll be somewhere up in the top corner hopefully or at the end of the video or whatever I don't know whatever they want to do whatever they want to do they do it okay there we go and just again tease this into that silvery paint there and we'll add another layer we're going to change the flavor of the trees in a minute so again it's the same color just a little less white a little less white just tapped in tapped into this mop brush i believe uh, where we're going to start we'll start here start here go a little bit stronger above and work his way down we seem to be getting these little midges every time i crack open an oil paint they're attracted from the pond outside to the smell of the paint well, i'm glad someone likes smell of oil paint there we go and we can just blend that out again you can even pick up a touch of white paint okay and float that in there of course it won't stay white because the com the canvas is completely covered in silver silver oil paint I, got, I picked up a tube of silver oil paint i thought oh, that's gonna be cool i don't know how it's gonna go but we'll we'll, we'll see how it works and, and it may give a like a metallic sheen when when the whole thing's dry right so we'll just blend that out again don't want detail as such just shape and color shapes and colors okay where is that going if it's too dark too soon it's going to be on top of us up there up there like that okay let's go for it again a bit, bit more on this i want to put some different trees there but we'll put another one there a little bit stronger i'm going to have a lamp somewhere here so that contrast between the darker colour and this will be a lot better, I think. I still not forgot about that lump up in the top corner. But if I do, please, please remind me. Please remind me. Right, so there we go. Another little bits and pieces there. What's that looking like over there? Because I can't tell. We'll just fill it in. There, there we go. And again, I'm just going to tap into some of the white paint and just blend the bottom into that silver again there we go if you've got any suggestions anyway guys of what you want me to paint or, or or do just just leave it down in the comments i'm always looking for inspiration and there's no better inspiration to take than from people who are actually watching the video so if you have got any kind of inspiration let me know or the email address might be down there you know just ping me an email You'd like me to paint your painting you know just let me know if you've got a painting you'd want me to repli replicate it just let me know right let's change the style of tree okay let's change the style of tree i'm going to take a fan brush okay and some of that color so it has got uh, it's got it all over the handle and now it's all over my fingers that's why some people wear gloves i can never really get my head around gloves it's uh, you lose your dexterity i think when wearing gloves so it's 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 a trade-off isn't it cleanliness over dexterity uh i'm just going to push into the side like that just to the side and then we can even tap to the other side there and there we've got it nice little tree nice little tree okay we'll probably want another one and uh, maybe another i saw there there's something creeping out of the mist that's over there and again let's go back to the brush that we blend with the cleaner of those two brushes and we blend and we blend and again all i'm doing is just very gently grazing the canvas and the paint upwards just to set it into the scene there we go like that okay let's do some more let's do some more so i'm going to take 
a little bit more of that same color and I'm just going to dip into a bit of that silver paint. Okay, see what color this gives us. Okay, so let's just do another one round about here like that and we'll just push that in there. So that may be a bit crooked, but still. And then I'm just going to tap to the side, tap to the side. Just push on, push on, push on to the side. Okay, we don't have to do anything other than that, really. There we go. Nice tree, or tree shape. Again, it's going to be more, it's going to be foggy, so we don't really want to care about individual branches and stuff just just give some some tree shapes really in fact we'll go on to the other side as well now and we'll go right there big one big one see how i'm pushing pushing down creates a little, little spiky things that come off this you don't have to go too crazy too soon with it there not bad maybe there's a little one that's there like that okay again let's go let's go and blend let's put a bit of filler material in there it's going to be sat on something yeah even though we can't see it because because it's in the fog so let's start at the back there blend and tease and lift up and then with this one, we'll blend and tease go all the way around and tease. I want to pick up a bit of this. It, to me, it looks like a paley green, you know, not paley bluey greeny colour. It does look a bit greeny though, doesn't it? But it's, it's just brown and, uh, and blue mixed together. And um, I forget how much of the proportion it was, but it, you know, it wasn't wasn't something I was just measuring out when it looked good and dark on the palette when it looked good and dark on the palette I just stopped and there we go that's what is it called serendipity I think I think someone said that once right so there blend it in blend it out blend it out okay right so there's this little path you can see it, we want that little path there. I'm going to have something up here, but we are now because I've painted it in. All right, let's have, before we get too carried away, cheers. Um, we're going to work on this, okay? Clean the palette knife off. Now it looks dirty, it is clean, it's just dry paint. So all I'm going to do is just scrape it off and just Flatten it down somewhat. Flatten it down. And hopefully that'll be a little something coming out of the sky. You know, a little bit of sunlight, a little bit of a ray of hope. Take the blender brush again. It hasn't got much paint on, but it's got a bit on. And we don't mind if we set this back, uh, tone this back a bit. But I'm just going to tease it across. Tease. Tease, tease. Now, of course, you'll be able to tell if that looks okay. If I don't think it looks okay at the end of the composition, I will tweak that a little bit. But I just want a little gap in the sky, a, a, a different colour just to break it all up, especially the sky. Okay, so that's how we deal with that. Right, let's work down here before we get overly carried away. Now, we're going to put some lamps in. Okay, now I'm going to have one here so i'm just going to dip into some thinner okay and i'm just going to push on and pull down right dry it off push on and pull down so basically i've washed the paint off the canvas there okay just like that then we'll blot it off and then it'll be easier for us to to add the next layer i want another one i, I want a far one back there but um, we, we don't really need to worry about that. That's going to be really far away. With this one, we'll have it there, I think. It wants to be taller. 
is it closer to us? Okay. There, like that. And don't worry if you make a little bit of a booba like I've just done, because we can always blend it out. I'm just washing the paint off the canvas. So it's the next layer is a little bit easier to stick on there. Look at that. Look at that. Good stuff. Right, before I get carried away, I'm just going to tease that because. We had a bit of a drip, we had a bit of a drip with the uh, the thinner. Right, what we're going to do now is, because this is dry, I'm going to take a little bit of white and cad yellow, tiniest amount of cad yellow. So it'll, it'll look so strong anyway against this lot. So uh, let's just mix that up. White and yellow. And I'm just going to touch on and pull down again, there, like that. Touch on and pull down. And the same over here, less pressure, touch on, pull down. There, like that. We want one in the back, didn't we? We had one in the back. Uh, we'll maybe put it about there. Just a little, a little indication that there's something there okay let's rinse that off let's rinse that off okay dry it off on your tissue and then let's grab some of this color okay grab some of this color i'm gonna add some of that silver into that as well so it's the the same blue and brown mixture with a little bit of the silver if it looks too light here no, oh, I think that's all right. We've got away with it. And the same under there. Like that. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch on. And pull straight down. Hopefully it's straight. Okay. Hopefully it's straight. There, like so. And then we'll do the same on the other one. So give him a top bottom and pull straight down because this one's further away only slightly but it is so it may look a little bit and if it's a bit bent these are old lights they might have fallen over i'm not touching that one yet i want to i'll be lightening the paint over there a little bit of a cap like so and the same on this one a little bit of a cap there, like that. Okay, and a little stand where the lamplighter puts his ladders. There, like that. Okay. Uh, now, don't worry about it. Cause again, this is going to be in the in the mist. Let's put some. Let's put some. Uh, do we want a tree? We want some up there, won't we? Um, so we'll worry about all that lot later. In fact, well, I've got that on there. You go away. We'll just put a few sticks, little fence or something like that. Little fence all along. Make them one can give it character. There, I will have one there, but there. So it goes back around this corner. Like so, there, like that, that's your little fence. Okay, let's grab a little -a brush, a little script brush or liner brush or whatever we want to call them nowadays. Same colour, I'm not thinning it out though. Don't want to thin it out, because if we thin it out, and then we start to blend, we're going to end up making a bit of a mess. I just want some colour up there. That looks the biz. That, that looks the part. Okay, there we go for that. Right, back to the blender for the moment. So the blender brush, and we can tap on and start to blend some of this out into the fog. And we can pull and actually start shaping shadows as well. So we'll, we'll 
in there and there and of course at the base we're going to pick up some of that color there all right there just, just merge it out merge it out merge it all out lift it up just diffuse very little paint on the canvas you see so if there were lots and lots of wet paint on here you'd just be making it into a massive mud pie and that's no good for anyone let me grab a bit of white that's no good for anyone okay look at that so it's just coming out of the fog there like that and across here as well there we go right we need to work on i'm just gonna just dry the brush off there so you can get a little color a little color on the path nothing too much when it foggy when it foggy there right let's work on something here first what do you think a tree excuse me thirsty work is all this let's go back to the fan brush okay i'm gonna pick up some of that color with a little bit of that silver thrown in and i'm going to across and down and around and like that that's roots okay let's let's give them some big roots down here uh, and again i'm not gonna fill in too much of this because when we blend it all out it will look set into the painting but i just want some branches up there as well so what i've done can you see just a bit of white on that first stroke and this one's got no white at all there like that wow that looks scary <laughs> that looks scary enough to me right again we need this so now it's a repetitive action but we need it okay so just go over the the branch there and take this up we aren't finished with the tree up here anyway but we need to just set set it in so the painting pull down and across and across this way and flow go with the flow of the tree over there and down there and what excess paint you take off from where we put it on the, the canvas will color the canvas you know this part is toned this part now so we have painted it there like that we could have done so much there maybe maybe we will maybe we will let's blend that up get some in there i think something needs sneaking in there doesn't it so we'll work on that in a minute what do we need on this side something maybe similar i don't know i don't know maybe maybe another tree like that does now there like so that's strong that's strong that's really thickly put on and put it in front of this tree there and again let's i'm going to take the muckier brush because that's got a lot of paint to it just want to tap tap that off and in there rather than blend it just tap I hope, you, I hope that looks reasonable again this is a quick painting so we're not spending much time on it but um, I, want, I, do, I still want it to look a little bit reasonable okay let's let's throw in something else sideward strokes with a brush like that sideward strokes pushing up okay so maybe I should have put this in before we put put this in this big tree it's there now it's there let's grab a no we won't drop it let's grab the blender brush and just tease that in and you can't go wrong with this as long as you get your basic shapes and work on your tone a little bit you can't really go wrong as, as long as it's 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 all set right just just for this i'm just going to grab a bit more of that stronger color and put it there i, I need to push that back it needs to be darker 
it needs to be darker than, than that, so from there. Right, so. And that's how you do it. You just push it back. Just push that tree back. Yes, there we go. And then again, a bit more blendery action. What we're going to do up there, folks? What do we want to do up there? I don't know. Let's throw in some. Let's throw in some silver and blue and brown foliage. Okay, so just going to flick up like this. Push up a bit of foliage. A bit of foliage. We've got evergreen trees or cypress trees there. We want something that's like this lot up here as well don't we so just push it up push it up like that and the thicker you put it on the darker it will look like i've said before there. and again what you can do blend the brush in fact we'll put that down blend the brush tap blend just tap and blend it all into one there yeah, like so maybe pull out some of this these leaves yeah we're getting somewhere folks we're getting somewhere bit the foliage down there in that gap mm. Mm -mm -mm. okay script brush let's get a liner brush now I am going to put a bit of thinner in this Okay, because I want it to split the paint again, but I'm going to dive into some of that darker colour. Okay, that darker colour. And I'm just going to put in some branches. Let's, let's get the right script liner brush. <laughs> the one that's not got all paint stuck on it from last time. Didn't clean it out. Okay, so there we go. Just put some branches on. Now, don't go worrying about any of these because we are going to hit them again with the uh, with the blender, with some blendery action. So just a few branches here and there and there and here, like that. Okay. When you've got a bit of paint on you might put a few grasses down in the foreground like so just sneaking out sneaking out through the through the mist and the fog there okay back to the blender and just every now and again just take away some of the definition like that and that sets it back in to the painting well there we go i think we have got a finished painting there let me know how we've done let me know if you're going to give this one a go i'm just going to darken that path off there so you can see it a little bit better okay let me know how we've done if you've enjoyed this one please give it a big old thumbs up subscribe and let me know how you get on until next time take care you said take care see you later i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> cheers happy days <laughs>